hey they're good looking if you want to release muscle tension in the hips glutes and hamstrings this is the stretch session for you this is also day 20 of our 21 day fit and fierce challenge ah! so close now the only tools you need for this uh stretch session is a mat if you're on a hard surface and a yoga tie and guess what if you don't have a yoga strap an old necktie will work your bathrobe tie that idea i also recommend no shoes let those tootsies free for this one all right let's go get started Hello there and welcome. My name is PJ Wren and I've been a certified personal trainer for almost three decades now focusing on the over 40 body. And today we are going to focus on stretching and opening up some of the tight areas of our over 40 body. Let's begin with your hip flexors. Left knee on the ground. Have it underneath the hip and step this leg forward slightly. Now lunge into it just a tad so that front knee and ankle are aligned. Flatten your back foot. Squeeze your left glute, tuck the tailbone under, square your hips and shoulders, feel the release into that muscle in that left front hip. Now inhale the arms straight up, thumbs pointed behind you, exhale shoulders away from ears. As you hold the stretches in this series, if you can go a little deeper with each breath, go for it but honor where you want to go and where you feel you need to be in this present moment. Release the right arm, inhale the left arm up a little higher, separating rib from hip, and then lean away from that left hip. If you find this stressful on that back knee, you can double up your mat, place a pillow or a thick towel underneath it. Bring the arms in front now. Walk this leg a little to your outside. Hands beside that right foot. Slide that left knee further behind you. And then shoulders away from ears and just sink into this stretch here. Dropping that left hip to your ground. Press yourself back up. Let's do the other side. Right knee under hip to begin with, back foot flat. Left ankle ahead and knee, line them up now. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze that right glute. Feel that stretch as you square your hips and shoulders. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, shoulders away from ears. Release the left arm, inhale the right arm up a little higher, separating rib and hip on this side of the body, and then exhale and lean away. Keep holding. Again, sinking a little deeper into the stretch as that hip opens up. hands in front. Walk that left foot a little to the outside. Slide that back knee further behind you and then drop that right hip into your mat. You may even be on more of the outside edge of this front foot.
couple more breaths. Press yourself back onto the bum. Take your right leg, bring it in 90 degree position so the shin is lined up at the front of your mat and take your other leg behind in a 90 degree so the hamstrings lined up at the back of your mat. Going into a 90-90 stretch to hit into the hip rotators. Square your body towards that front of your mat and try to pin this left hip down. Now right here might be enough of a stretch for you. You may wanna walk forward a bit to hit into that front glute a bit deeper, or you may wanna be upright to feel a bit more here in the back. I want you to find what's gonna work for you, where you need to release, and we'll breathe here for a minute. As you hold that first tightness will subside if you want to encourage yourself to go a little deeper If you're forward folded, bring yourself up, place the hands right behind the hips, keep the feet where they are, and we're simply windshield wipering the knees to face the back of your mat now. And then adjust as you need to. Front shin lined up with the top of your mat now. Knee and hip of that front leg at 90, back knee and hip at 90, hamstring lined up with now it's the back of our mat. From here, pin that right hip to the ground, rotate yourself to the front of the mat, and once again, find what you need to stretch. So this is gonna hit more if you stay upright. That back hip, the internal rotator's there, or walk yourself forward to hit more of the front hip and the external rotators. With your breath, see if you can deepen the stretch. Coming deeper on your exhale. Hands back behind the hips, windshield wiper the legs a few times, and as we drop the front leg, you'll rotate the body, and then other direction, and we're upright as we rotate. Let's do it one more each direction. This is a wonderful hip mobility drill. And legs in front and shake them out. Moving into pigeon pose, which could be stressful for you if you find you've got um, tight hips. If it is, what you'll do is move into here, figure four stretch, which can be foot on the ground or lifting up. Otherwise, into high plank. Start with the left knee, so if you're in figure four, your left leg will cross over the right. Those of you with me, high plank, left knee to left forearm, and then left ankle to opposite wrist. Walk the leg back, take a peek, see if it's in a straight line, and then place your hands directly underneath you, shoulders away from ears. Drop that right hip to the ground, 
You may even have a yoga block or pillow under this left hip that might help out. And then just work on how deep you can go with this glute stretch. Don't fall into this left hip. It stays elevated off your ground. That's why in pigeon pose, it's usually encouraged for beginners to place something underneath that hip to keep it up. back onto the hands, tuck your back toe under, use your back leg and your arms to lift yourself up, feet hip width, and then downward dog. If you're doing figure four stretch, come and join us here on downward dog. It's gonna give you a nice length into the back of the thighs before we switch into the other leg. Ears in between the arms, feet hip width apart in a straight line pressing the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Heels may or may not be on your mat. Two more breaths. All right, let's get set up for the right side pigeon or right leg crosses over for figure four. For pigeon, follow me into high plank, right knee to right forearm, right ankle to opposite wrist. Walk that back leg behind you and then take a peek at a straight line. Now get the hips centered and even so we're not sinking into that right hip now. And then find the level of stretch that will work for you. And focus on the breath. Respecting that each side of the body may feel quite different. Hold each pose, be it figure four or pigeon. With your breath, maybe you can go a bit deeper. Coming onto the hands, getting set up for downward dog, tuck the back toe under, lift up with the hands and that left leg now and press up. Everyone into downward dog, positioning those feet hip width in a straight line, ears in between the arms and breathe. Maybe pedaling the feet, lifting one heel a little higher while you press the other one into your ground. And then come up high onto the toes and lower down, pressing the heels back. Let's do that again, high onto the toes, even go on the very top of your big toe, lower down. And knees to mat. Grab your stretch tie. Start on the bum. Left ankle will cross over the right thigh and then walk that right foot in towards the bum. Hands beside behind you, pardon me, and press your chest towards that left shin. Flex the left foot to protect that knee. This is figure four in a slightly different way. 
getting into those hip rotators in your left side. Now let's get a little movement into the hip and simply windshield wiper the right knee side to side and that's going to pull that left leg across. And as you drop the knee out, you'll probably feel a wonderful deeper stretch more into the glute. Let's take it nice and slow. Release the left foot, bring it in, keep it in, and extend your right leg. Position yourself so you're right onto your sit bones. Yoga strap, place it around the bottom of the foot, sit up nice and tall, and use the strap to help draw the chest forward. Now stretching into the right hamstring. Again, encouraging yourself to maybe go a bit deeper on that exhale as we hold each pose, each position, each stretch. on up. We'll leave the stretch tie right where it is. Now right or left foot on the mat, right ankle crosses over the thigh. Pick the left foot, bring it towards you, straighten the arms behind you, flex the right foot now. And now let's get some movement into that right hip joint. Windshield wiper, the left knee. Focusing on really dropping it out. That's where the, the yummy stretch happens, right about here, dropping it out. One more. Release the right leg. Still keep it bent though. Now let's extend the left leg. Position yourself so you're once again on the sit bones. Grab the tie, place it midfoot. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. As you hold on to the strap, use, use it to help assist you with the pose, but not rounding the shoulders. So we're still keeping those shoulders squared. The shoulder blades pinched a little bit, so again, they don't round. And then deepening that stretch, if you want, on each exhale. Couple more breaths. And release. Lying down, strap still close by you. Wrap it around the right leg now. Press the heel up towards your ceiling. Soften the knee ever so slightly, and then straighten your other leg. Shoulders are relaxed. Back of the neck is long. So let's just make sure it is. Lift the head, tuck the chin lower down, and lengthen the back of the neck.
Now bend the knee a bit more and pull the leg in a bit deeper. You might feel this more the top of the hamstring now, right where it originates near the glute. Allow the leg to go a little bit. Pick the left leg up, place it under the tie, and drop the right leg out. So our first stretch is somewhat of a straight leg now. So inhale the heel up to your ceiling, and exhale and draw the toes towards you. If the leg starts to shake, let it go a bit. We don't want it shaking. And then from there, Release any tension happening in the rest of the body. Let your stretch tie do all the work. Everything else is resting and supported. Bend that knee now, draw that leg in closer and hold. Bend your other leg, foot on the mat, release the left one down. Bring the arms out in a T position, palms up, and just windshield wiper the knees side to side. Slow and controlled. One more each side. Knees pointed up to your ceiling once again. Walk the heels towards the bum. Cross the right leg over as if you're wearing a skirt and you're cross-legged sitting on a chair. Lift the knees up. If you're able to bring the hands underneath, grab onto that left shin and lower. Now getting into the right glute here. Then as you exhale, are you able to draw the knees a little closer towards you? Release, cross the other one over, pull the knees in. Lower the head, back of the neck is long once again here. Breath in through the nose. Exhale, draw the knees closer towards you. Release the legs and set yourself up to whatever's comfortable for you for a mini Shavasana. 
So it might be with a pillow under the knees if you have a sensitive low back. You might even grab a blanket if you're cold. We want the legs wide, mat width if that's comfortable for you. Arms down by your side, palms up. And close your eyes. And allow the feet to drop out to your sides. The fingertips curl. Feel the sensations in your body. Feel the ground against the back of your head, shoulder, glutes, calves and heels. And then the side of the body that's not resting on the ground. Feel the air against your skin. Maybe if you have a blanket on, the weight of the blanket resting on the body. These mindfulness cues that are given at the end of most yoga sessions and that I'm doing right now are to help draw your mind to right now, the moment. Simple techniques that you can use too when you're out there and you want to focus on the right now. You focus on what you feel at that moment, what you smell, what you see, and perhaps even maybe what you taste. Right here, we'll focus on what you feel. to what you hear. Not searching for the sound, just allowing the sound to come to you. Stay here for as long as you feel you need to or want to. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Uh, nope. <laughs> Listen, no tools are really required. However, I do recommend a mat if you're on a hard surface and grab yourself a stretch tie as well to help you out with the hamstring stretches. And if you don't own a stretch tie, guess what? Grab an old necktie or your bathrobe tie. That'll work just fine. All right, oh, 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 I forgot what day, what day? It's day 20, damn it. <laughs> I don't know where to put my hands. <laughs> Press yourself back, right knee under hip, same series now, starting with knee under hip, tuck the tailbone under, ah shoot, my lawnmower and people are here, I gotta bring my dogs in, damn it! <laughs>